Hello everybody. I'm just a few minutes late. I had trouble with my other streaming app, so I had to come to the stream yard. <clears throat> so let me share this out. And yep. Let me share this out. That'll come up. That might be it. Hello, hello. Hey, Miss Kristen. <clears throat> We are going to be making something fun today. You notice the title of the stream. And if you would, please copy the link and share me out. Because I've shared to a few groups. But please share me out. Let, them, let everybody know that I'm live. Because I really want to share this. I know you're looking at this magazine going, what in the heck she got magazine pages for? Hi, Mina. Trying to get my head on straight. <laughs> Hi, Lise. I that posted in my group. So if you ladies would uh, share them out to your groups that you know of. I was away from the camera. Can you hear me all right? <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a good day. I just had, I just finished my lunch right before I went on. Are you able to hear me, Mina? Hi, Kathy. Yeah, I had my head kind of ducked away from the camera. That way, uh, I could do what I was doing, do what I needed to do. So today, we're going to be making a Hocus Pocus journal from scratch. And so... Um, in the wings, I've actually made some of the props that are going to go on to the book. This is made out of DOS air dry clay. I don't know how brittle this is going to be. I made it this morning. It's not completely dry, but it's hard enough to where I can glue it down. Um, these are the pieces that are going to go on to the, the journal. Oh, the head broke, but I can glue that back on. But these are the pieces that I made for the journal. I just did a quick a quick thing with it they're not perfect i mean nothing's going to be perfect and so um the eyeball i know you're wondering how am i going to do the eyeball well this is how i'm going to do it y'all have seen the flat back uh big cabochon things at the dollar tree right that's what this is and so what i planned on doing is i need your all's opinion because i've got two eyeballs that i want to use and so my my uh my idea is to put this over top. Let's see if I can hold that down because I ain't gonna need that. My finger. Went through my magazines and I went through and I found these big old eyeballs. And so what I plan on doing is taking this and setting it on top, therefore giving the illusion of an eye in the stone. You know, if I can get it right, like that. I've got that one, or I've got what they call cat's eye. I don't know if it's going to be in the right way. Okay, we've got that. See one of the cat's eye, so we want to put that over top. Which one do you think would look better, the human eye or the cat's eye? Okay. 
got that one. And let me get another one to show you. <clears throat> you got the cat's eye or the human eye. What do you think? The cat's eye, I see three votes. All right, so majority rules, right? All right, so I guess we're going to do the cat's eye. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that first. Why is that one that's not got the pepper in the back? I think all of them's got the pucker. Yeah. I need to find the one that's less noticeable. I'll probably do it that way. Yeah, just that one. I got a whole another bag of these things. <clears throat> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to glue that on. Um, let's see, do I want to use my Mod Podge or do I want to use straight up art glitter glue? What do you guys think? Art glitter glue? I know it dries clear. Hmm. So let's put this on the bag. Because we are going to press it on there. So make sure we don't get the nose in there. Let that dry. Let that dry there. It looks like I've got a cat with eyeglasses on. All right, now let's put this aside and we're going to make our journal. Now this one, this journal, I know you all have seen me make a blue million times. But I already have all my pieces cut. What this is, is three pieces of thin chipboard glued together to make a thicker, a thicker book. Because on this book, we're going to be putting a lot of glue and paper on this and so I don't want to uh, have a thin flimsy piece so this thing's about an eighth of an inch thick it's about the the size of a, a thick piece of chipboard so that's three pieces glued together same thing with the spine that's basically what this is is basically a full sheet of chipboard cut in half along with a slice off of another piece of three that's glued together i'll use this for like a small journal if we if we have to if we run into some uh drying situations we'll start on a like another small one or of some sort with this one so what i'm going to do is i want to take my thick tape here you know the the two inch wide multi-purpose tape and we're gonna we're gonna take take it and put our uh, our spine pieces together Video. Guys, I've been up since four o'clock this morning, so please excuse me if I if I mumble a bit. All right, so lay this out. We're gonna give it a little bit of space between the uh each piece give it about an eighth of an inch apart from the spine i've been doing this for a while so i kind of about gauge where it's at so we're going to put that down that's about perfect wasn't it all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our bone folder and we're going to take, take it and crease it. Make sure we have our crease for whenever we do happen to close it. All right, so we're going to repeat that process on the opposite side.
project that I've been working on. Repeat that. Give her a little thing of rocking. All right, so we now have our book, our journal cover put together. Look how simple that was. And uh, by the way, this is a two inch spine. And we are going to be doing a hidden spine with this journal. And so I have a just a thin piece of just one, one, um, one ply, I guess, of the, of the chipboard. And so what we're going to do Let's put this aside. Put that right there. I have some pretty. I have some coffee stained paper. Look how vintage that looks. Oh, isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And this will be an empty book unless I print off a few things if I can get some ink and paste it in here. This is going to be an empty journal that you can you can do whatever you want in. And it's got 20 pages of paper, and we are going to be folding that over into a, a fat one signature journal. And so you'll have all these gorgeous pages to play with. You see all those pretty papers? Yes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fold each and every one of these over. And what we're going to do after we get done uh, folding each one of these over we are going to uh, poke holes in here and we're going to line it up here and we're going to sew it on to this piece right here. Again, this is two inches wide. This strip is two inches wide and what that's going to do, once we sew this to this piece of uh, chipboard here, this is going to get glued here. Like that. Well, we're going to cover this first. And then we're going to glue it down. And so, therefore, you will have your signature and you'll have all that pretty paper in there. Like that. See? Isn't it pretty? I, now, I did not iron these because I wanted the, the look of, like, the uh, like distress pages on the edge. And I thought that was so cool. So, that's what we're going to be. What size is the paper? This is 8 by, well, it's... Uh, the same size as a, uh, um, hang on, let me, get, I'm having a tongue-tied moment. Uh, it is, how much you, um, this page is, um, 10 and three quarters by eight and a half. So that's how big this is. This is what they call, um, you know that old typing paper? That used to run through the machine. It looks like this. Has the has the edging on it. It's bigger than your normal average size paper. And so I thought that this would be perfect. Because I wouldn't need to trim or add any paper to it. So it's about 10 and, a, 10 and 3 quarters I guess. And 8 and a half long. Now you could possibly use the extended uh, paper, you know, the large legal size uh, paper and cut it down to the, per this perfect size. You're very welcome, Mina. Now you could probably, uh, like I said, cut it down into that perfect size to get that. But this is the, I just happened to come along this paper. I, I don't have much of it left. So I'm um, doing with it what I can. Uh, but anyway, after I get these folded, we're going to poke holes in it and sew it to this after we cover this. And we're going to um, uh, possibly cover this first, and then we're going to be working on the outside of the book. Now, I don't know if it's going to get done all of it today, and, but we will work on it as much as we can. I'm going to try and keep it to two hours, and if I don't make it to two, if I, if I make it past two hours, um, we're doing good because I don't, uh, I don't know what, uh, yeah, I don't know what streaming services I'm going to be using because uh, it's going to be just me on Friday, guys. Oh, and by the way, if you hadn't heard, uh, please watch for notifications. I am going to be having a sale on Friday, this Friday, 
the 25th of September at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please set your calendars, save your pennies, nickels, and dimes and dollars. You might just see something that you can't live without. And I do I do believe that this will be in the sale. So um, so I'll be watching for it if we can get it done in these next two days. All right, so let's put this aside. And we will be uh, we will be good folding these. And you'll see how pretty these are. And they may not get folded completely the same exact size. That's what's that's what makes the that's what makes it so pretty. I'm hoping to have this in the sale if we can get it done. If I don't get it done, what I will do is I will put it on the table, but I will let people know that it's not done. Um and that it will get finished and it will be sent promptly as soon as it's finished. Now, I still haven't finished the mask. I've not even worked on it. You know, when you work on something, you get a nervous stomach. Whenever I get a nervous stomach, I don't work on it because it makes me feel like I'm about to do something wrong. And so whenever my nervous stomach finally fades away, finally gives, gives away, that's when I start working on it. I don't know if y'all ever experienced that or not. When, I, when my nervous stomach goes away, that means I'm confident about it. Now, if, if, I, if my stomach's nervous, I won't work on it because I'll end up messing something up. <clears throat> As you can see, all of these are beautifully, these are all coffee stained. Each one is done differently. Each one is stained differently. There's no possible way for me to duplicate any of these pages because... Yeah, it's really hard to do that. And these all look very vintage, and they're very thin. They almost feel like glossing paper, but it's not. But it also gives the feeling of like an old book, a very, very old book. I really like the way this feels when it's coffee stained. And I will have in the sale some of this paper so be watching for it if you want some of this paper to play with if you're enjoying the way it looks i have i have some in packs i do believe yeah yeah i've got some in packs already i've been working very very hard on some newer projects and so you all will see some of the same old same old stuff you know stuff that people come to me for and you may see some new stuff so please be aware I believe there's 20 sheets, and if you fold them over, you're going to have 40 sheets total to play with, 80 if you count front and back. So you're, you've are you got a lot of paper to play with or journal in. Some of them are heavily stained, and you can still see the shine from the where the coffee was put on there. I don't know if you can see the shine or not, but anyway. Dry. Right. This may get set up into uh, uh, different stream days. Uh, she will be, but she will be in the background. She says, uh, she told me that it's all me, but she may pop in and sell something. I don't know. So she may surprise me. She said that this one was all me, but this is going towards the wedding, and I did not look at the calendar, but it's also coming up my son's birthday, and I've got to get him something for really nice for his birthday, so I've got to come up with the money for it. His birthday's on the 8th of, or 8th of October, and I've got to, I want to have it there before his birthday, that way he has something to open on his birthday. Yeah, she's going to be in the background. So, as far as I know, it's all me on Friday. But, as I said, she may pop in to sell a few things. I'm not sure. I can't promise. All 
All right, we're on our last sheet. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to stack them back up and put them to the side because we got to do our got to cover our piece in the center. Stack them bad boys up. We may not have enough. Hold on. Make it poofy again. Because when I folded them over, it was just enough. If I have to, I've got uh, some more of this paper sitting to the side. How many pieces we got in here? We only got six. That's okay. I get I get to the views afterwards. Make sure you uh, you send send your fellers over. For those of you who those of uh, you friends that don't know who I am, please send them over. Would love some new peoples. Now I did something very similar to what I'm about to do today in a previous. I believe it was last year, maybe the year before. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it, Kathy? Like I said, I've got some that's going to be for sale in the sale. So if you want to grab some, you better grab them at the sale because I won't have much of this paper left. I mean, I've still got a nice little stack about maybe that that thick of the paper. But after that runs out, I won't have any more unless someone sends me some. I'll be glad to coffee stain them and refill them. All right, so we now have the whoop, we now have the book. The pages already already folded over. Look how pretty that is, guys. Oh, look how pretty. But anyway, <laughs> I'm easily amused. Can you tell? All right, so we're gonna set that here out of the way. You should see my desk right now. It is like covered. All right, now um, I've got to cover this, and I've got to put some. I've got to put something here. And for the inside, I have found this right here, but I'm going to have to put um, uh, a base on it because what this is is a Martha Stewart's decoupage paper. Has anybody ever seen that before? That's going to be the inside, and it's white with a gold, but I'm going to put a darker color down. That way, that gold just pops right off of the, uh, off the board. So... Let me go get a piece of dark paper. Oh. It's blue. Oh, shucks. It's not long enough. Well, it's not. I don't need all of it. I'm a goofball. So we're going to need that much. And that much. Oh, I'm going to have enough. I'm a goofy. All right. So I'm going to need to cut that in half. Yeah. Alright, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and measure that out. And this is just regular um, uh, cardstock. Let's see, where does that get? I was going to cover this with material, but I found that decoupage paper. I'm like, hmm. That sounds yummy. So we're going to cut that there. Just mark the wind. Okay, let's make sure we got that right. That there. All right, so that'll be our inside there. Put that to the side because we're going to need to cover up some boogers whenever we do the front page. So we need to measure two inches out. Yep, we need to measure two inches out for this. That way we can cover this up whenever 
until we get to uh, the inside there. So we need to measure two inches. Cut. And what this is called is called a hidden spine. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. And so what we're going to do is we're going to glue that on. This piece of chipboard. There's a lot of do something and set it to the side, let it dry. Things in this pin back in there so we don't the lulls it. Put that piece on. Get a good burnish. And so what that will look like, these will go in. That'll be your inside. And then this Martha Stewart stuff, decoupage paper. This will go on the inside. Look how bright that is. That'll go there. We need to go ahead and cut that since that's about the right size that we need. And so, like I said, once that's on there, you'll still see it, but it'll be very mute to that. And uh, this is like, it's got like, it's a fiberglass type of thing. You see that? It's like a, yeah, it's like a fiberglass thing. And so what we're going to do is we're, um, we're going to glue that on after, <laughs> I know, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's wait, let's wait. Uh, That'll go up over top of that. I've actually got to do a piece to cover that. Because it'll have to blend. Hi, River. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. How are you doing? All right. So we're going to put this on somehow. Let's try this and see if it, see if it works. Let's move this out of the way. That way, if we do through the glue, it's not going to be on that. It'll be on the table. We can easily move that up. Fold this over. I'm just going to say it didn't go all the way around. Oh well. It'll be slightly hidden. I won't be able to tell too much.
I wish my phone would go complete silent every time I'm buggy. But I don't have that option on my phone. Let's move all these scrappy dudes out of the way. Off my finger. Alright, so we now have the the piece that goes in the center where the book sits. Or the pages sit, excuse me. So that will sit here. Like that. And so I, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go all the way across with that whenever I get the front done. That way it kind of sort of covers up the tape there. And so the pages will sit like that. And that will be your inside cover of the Hocus Pocus shirt. See that? I actually found it at the Goodwill. I have no clue. I don't know if they still continue to make this or not. It's a Martha Stewart brand. But anyway, that's what it, the inside is going to look like. All right. Now, let's put that to the side because it's got to dry. You can still see where, the, where I put the glue in. <coughs> but that's going to be kindly covered up by the, the book. Now. Now that we have that, we have that about the perfect way. Now comes the fun part. <coughs> Let's move this out of the way. That way, them pieces don't get messed up. So we're going to turn that over. It really didn't matter what what side it was. I just turned it over just for, I guess, aesthetics. Now, um. Right where'd the cat I go? There it is. All right, let's cut that out. Now, what you're going to need is either tissue paper or paper towels. I have chosen to use paper towels. Or you can even use toilet paper. It doesn't matter what what you use to do this process. All right, so now look at that. You got this creepy eye for the book eye. Have y'all seen the uh, Hocus Pocus book? I'm going to try my darndest to replicate it. I mean, it's not going to be exactly like it because who would I be to copy everything that they do? It would be bad. All right, so. Now, what I have done is I've made this cute little, you know how they had the little book cover where they opened it up and the eye was like right here. That's what they're, that's where that's going to sit. But just imagine that this is the, the front cover right here. Now, um, this is going to sit like right here. Like right there. And then I have made the hook corners here. And my head that I have to fix goes here. Like that. And then we'll have just a couple little things down through here. I mean, it's smaller than your average Hocus Pocus spell book, but I didn't want to make this humongous book. Should have made some of my stuff smaller because I didn't realize how big, how big it was until I just now got it on here. Now, I do have, just just to save your size, I do have these um, the fake snakes that you get at your Dollar Tree. I do have that, which would make it a touch smaller. And I could also make this piece smaller as well to go here. Go there and to go there. Just kind of intertwine them and glue them down. Which one do you think would look better, the little snakes or the big snake? Hmm. 
What do you guys think? Hmm. I'm having debates with myself. Hmm. What am I at? 37 minutes? That's looking good. So what do you think? The little snakes or the larger snake? I can put the larger snake on the back if I have to. I don't even need to use these, to be honest. Those can go right here without even without even using the stock strip. Okay, y'all are saying the little. Okay, I'll go with that. Alrighty, we'll do the littles. Alright, so I'm just showing you what the the book is going to look like. I'm going to fix my snake head because, as you can see, the, the clay, the air dry clay is still a little bit damp and I can get that in there. And put that glue down. I'm able to stay. All right, now. Okay. Let's see. What we're next we're next gonna do, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a paintbrush. And we're going to take our mixed mod podge, or you can actually use your mod podge. And I'm just using glue and water. Shaking it up, mixing it back up. Alright, whoa. Yikes. By the way, I make my own Mod Podge. It's just Elmer's glue and water. Alright, so our next step in this little process is take some of your paper towels. Make sure it's the one ply paper towels, and if it's two ply, pull them apart. And what you're going to do is you're going to just paste down your bit, your your pages, your your um your paper towels. Alright, so alright, so you don't have to put them on straight. And so whenever you put them on there, kind of give them a little bit of a scrunch. Don't be too neat with it. Give it a little scrunch if you can. Like that. Make it appear as if it was skin. I'm going to take this off. Rip it. Like We're just going to apply it over until you feel like it, that, it, that you're satisfied with the way it looks and it, the way it textures up. Well, like I said before, I'm, I did something very, very similar to this last year. I made a spell book. And before that, I made another spell book. <laughs> I and mean, I'm, I'm pretty good at making spell books. Now, if you would like to have one or uh, want to see, I'm not sure if it was on this channel or the other channel I used to have where I made the spell book. I think it was this one. 
You have to look back in the Halloween, uh, the Halloween things that I did last year to see if it was, if it was this, or this. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm just getting tired. I'm trying to figure out what I'm saying. You'll have to search my videos. <laughs> don't have a heat tool. Oh, oh, I do, but it's kind of not so safe that I use it when I'm off camera. I'll go ahead and use it now because I have no other option to dry this and I need it to dry so I can show you what to do next. This is making it look like torn skin or patched skin words. And if you have not subscribed and you're just a lurker and you want to see more, make sure you hit that bell notification and the subscribe button. And also give me a, a give me a like. And if you're watching the replay. Please hit me up with a kind comment. I know we're live right now, but that was those that, that comment was to the ones who were watching the replay when it's posted. Alright, Matt needs to be straightened out. Too much of a hiccup. It'll take forever to dry if it's not. Paste it down over it. And I'm not the first one to do this at all. There are many tutorials on how to do this. So this is not my idea. I'm just taking it my own take on it. My own take on how to do it. You know, this is the first Hocus Pocus pill book that I've done. Hocus Pocus, I mean, like I was going to do a video, but I was like, hey, wait a minute. These people miss me. Why don't I go on ahead and, and get on here and, and jabber jar with them for a little bit? All right, we're already at 45 minutes. Still got an hour and 15 minutes to go. Maybe I'll get through it. Start on the other side. First, but it is the spine. Now, normally the spine has little fingers. I don't have, I didn't make the little fingers. I actually forgot once I got my clay and stuff put up. But what I'll do is off camera, um, I'll make those little fingers to go across the spine. And I'll glue them on after the fact. Has anybody ever seen the movie Hocus Pocus? Or not seen it? I think it's one of my favorite Halloween movies. Well, kid-friendly Halloween movies. Let me know if you've seen it. And what's your favorite part of it, if you have seen it.
Oh, you haven't seen it, Kathy? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's got Bette Midler in it. And she is one of my favorite actresses that sings. You got to you gotta watch it. She's awesome. And the, it also draws you in. Uh, the, the youngest sister uh, reminds me of myself. A lot of people said I look like her, but I ain't going to look like her for too much longer. Once my hair gets longer, it's going to go back to me. So my hair will not be blonde once it grows out far enough to get it colored. Back to my honey, my chestnut honey color hair. A lot of people just let this sit and dry overnight, but I'm going to try my heat tool. See if it'll dry it. Hopefully, goodness, it don't blow up on me. It's got a crack down the barrel of it. It was given to me, and I guess the crack's gotten bigger over time. My other heat tool melted on me. <laughs> Went to kaput. And I haven't gotten a new one yet. Them suckers are expensive, you know. You should replace them. I go through them fast. I, I use them a lot. This takes some time, and this is actually kind of a soothing little project to put your pa just glue and paper down. Has anybody ever just relaxed, just glue and paper down? I can get lost in doing it. Very therapeutic. There's a little girl in the movies. Her name is Danny. She's a little red-headed pit spitfire. She's very curious. Gets into stuff. But I'm not going to spoil it. Here we go. If you haven't seen it. Just giving you a little hint. What to expect. Other the last lady I watched do this, it took her, she said, over three hours to do this. I'm going to try and cut that in half. We can try. Single side of hand. We can try. Oh, 
lot of people do this on a recording if that's why, but I'm, I work quickly, as you can see. I work very, very quickly. Yeah, I'm glad I did a, th a three on that because it's already starting to warp just a little bit because of the water and the glue. So, yeah. If you're going to make a book on your own with just the supplies like chipboard, make sure that you triple it up instead of double it up because you're going to be using a lot of glue and water which will buckle your paper or your book. Now, if you choose to use a just a regular book, you can also do it that way. But I chose to make one because I didn't have a spare book to, to play with. Once I get done, it'll be nice and hard. Well, yeah, you can use cheesecloth. I've never really used it, but, sorry, I'm talking with paintbrush in my hand, or my mouth, but the cheesecloth idea, you're going to get a lot of holes and stuff. A lot of people like to use it to make, like, ghosts and stuff to, to cover their journals, but to be honest, I don't, I've never, I don't have any cheesecloth to do this with, but what you're wanting is the texture. And to make it to make it look like it's peeled skin as well. You'll understand when I get done. But you want to make it to look like it's ripped skin. Like it's been took and torn apart and sewn back together. I'm going to try and dry this. Don't know how well it's going to work. Is it ill even dry? This is the this is the heat tool that I have. It's it's seen better days. You see that big old crack? I don't know if y'all can see it or not. There's a crack out oh, there. It is. That's not good. So this is what I've been using. And we'll see how well it works. And it's not very loud. That's, that's one of the reasons why I do like it. Oh shit. You know what I didn't do, guys? You didn't tell me. Put the cap and the needle back in my glue. This one take forever. I usually use a hair dryer. I wonder if I pulled out my hair dryer it would be too loud for you guys. This takes a hot minute to heat it completely. Versus a hair dryer. I can mute you. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I can mute you, so don't think that I can't. I can't see you, or you can't hear me. I'm just gonna mute. I'm gonna work it my hair dryer. My crafting hair dryer. So, as you can see, I have this high coffee stain. It's nasty. <laughs> say i'm going to mute you guys so please don't think that you can't hear me or i'm not i'm that yeah i've muted you so hang tight
All righty. You see what I'm talking about? It looks like it's pulled skin, like it's been pulled and just plastered back down. See what I'm saying? Got to have those pieces. All right, so when did we get it back a little wet? All right, so okay. what we're gonna do? We're gonna put our eye down. See how far we can get that. Right there. Should have made that smaller, but I did have a backup just in case that happened. We could probably make it smaller. We could use that and use it on something else. Let's see. Is it open? I'll have a few more of these just in case I screw it. That's a heck of a lot smaller. Yeah, that'll work because I need to make some eye, eye, some eye, some eye something. I think that looks a lot better. Don't y'all? Instead of that big old bone hunker thing. So we just got that. And I can make a little claspy thingy. Hmm. Yep. I just need to hollow that out. And all this is is a piece of cork. See that goes in. Must be just a little bit bigger because I gotta make some eyelids. It's just a little bit bigger. Not much. I mean, it's just for. Or looks anyway. All right, so now I'm going to move out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, take my glue back out. I'm going to make some eyelids. I don't know how well this is going to work, so wish me luck. I do have another eyeball just in case I screw it up. I need to glue this down first. Oh, I just realized you were here. Oh, he may not be here anymore. He just said hi, hello. He's here. He didn't say hello again, do you? Put that down there. And burn myself in the process. I 
how well this is going to turn out, guys. So wish me luck. I think it's looking all right, but only time can tell. That's only the first layer. It's going to take a few layers to get that just right. The reason I opted for the magazine, I really didn't feel like sculpting and I needed that little eye to look as natural as possible. I really didn't feel like painting it. How's it going so far? What do y'all think? Am I doing all right? I was kind of nervous that for this little spot right here because I didn't know how I was going to put it on. I don't know if anybody would want to buy this, but it's kind of creepy. <laughs> Halloween-y, you know. I don't keep very many things that I make anymore. It's a rarity. Shaylee, sorry I didn't look up and see that in time. You know when you're working on a project, you don't see it until it's too late.
one more layer on the bottom and I think we got it. Then we can dry it. I'm going to have to mute you again though. That's a lot of layers to dry through. I'm hoping that my, my heat don't melt that glue. Alright, here we go again. I'm going to mute you. So don't think I can't hear you or you can't hear me. I've just got you mute. Hey, Miss Marina. You just missed Lee. She just left a little bit ago. It's not dry, but I'm going to give it another. Marina. Little C, little C in the house. All right, I'm going to retrace this. Actually, I'm just going to cut it out with the little scissors. And then I'm going to glue these things together to give it a little bit more of a height. Oh, where's my mark? Oh, crap. I was cutting on my mark. There we go. Hopefully that leaves right. 
fits right. Yeah, let's glue that together. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if Aunt Marine is working on anything. Last I heard, she was taking care of some things on the home front. All right, so that's where that's going to go, right there. And that's where we're going to put it. I'm going to glue her down. Glad my finger wasn't there because that glue just went all the way through that and about burnt me. <coughs> that worked out perfectly. I'm glad I did that. Oh my. All right, now, got a little spot to cut. Not here. Cut two of those. And then glue those two together real quick. Well, this thing's not going to have a technical class, but it's going to make it, I'm just making it look like it. looks all right even though that is still a little bit damp underneath there I think it looks nice I'll let a cat for that went all right so that's what we have so far we have made our our lazy eye our skin texture and the inside of the book Well, I don't do very many uh, uh, very often. I've just had just my plate full. Plates full, been full for, you know, there's a lot of things happening here. Still a lot of repairs, but I'm having to jump in my factory for a little bit, getting ready for this auction. Well, not auction, but sale on Friday. <clears throat> so now. See what else do I need to do? I need to get me something to drink. Let's see. 
And then we've got that part about, about done. We can go ahead and start on the inside. Go ahead and put that so pretty inside on these two pieces. Wait a minute, no. I need to glue these down, then spread that across. That's right, because I need to hide the tape. All right, so let's go ahead and get that those pieces glued on. I'm clogging this up. It's barely even coming out. I need to get a longer pin to get down in there. There it comes. I had been doing some lots with Marina, but I have actually lost the project that I was working on with her. If I find it, I'll have to finish it up and put it in the sale if I can. I have literally lost the project that we were working on. Under. It's going to decoupage. I wonder if I can, I wonder if I can do it like that instead of having to use the Hmm. Well, look at that. Thank you. 
completely dry, but I need to go ahead and trim that down. I was about hitting that. Oh, thanks, Carrie. <laughs> I was going to read that out loud, but I don't think I need to. I'm not liking the way that. I think it's decoupaging stuff, but I'm not liking the way it's doing. So I'm going to go back to the blue. get covered up anyhow so I like this stuff better. I'm not liking the decoupage stuff, so. So, trim that up in a few. Back up. All right. Now that will look like that once we get the signature in. That will look like that. That's what your inside will appear to look like. Very shiny. Yeah, I'll need to trim both of those sides off. But now, now that the inside's done, we can actually put that to the side and let it kind of sort of dry. Because we can actually start putting the signature together. What's well, already together? Just need to help the whole. We found some string. What string? Some string. String, string, string. Wow. Found some brown. Oh, no. Let's actually do some dark red. Let's see what we have. Alright, so we should be able to get a good portion of this done. Alright, so.
different, different. Our tie in thing. Get from the table. And I need to choose our poking pots. I don't have my all in here, so I'll have to do it like this. Oh, nut. Yeah, this is about to die. This will help climb the paper back up. That's not the right spot. I should have did this in the first place. <laughs> Same paper, too. You ever just want to finish something and just put stop and use that one little thing? Oh, maybe eat easy thing. are so sore. Ugh. There we go.
I've lost my other needle. So I'm having to use this real, real sharp one. I don't have my blunt ones anymore. Right, so I'm going to make the tie. Through the back. That way it's hidden and there's no nothing up here. All that for nothing. Oh well. Should have done that in the first place and I'm going to do that over and over again. I just did something that I normally tell you guys don't do it. What am I doing, guys? Y'all didn't tell me. Glad I caught that. I know how to do it. I just I forgot to do it on here. I'm sitting here binding it. I'm not even binding it where I need to bind it to. Maybe not. I normally can get this done, this part done in no time, but I'll be in a do it without any problems just that I don't have my all in here. It's a thing. Us again the right way this time. <sighs> All right, now we're going to go in through the center back here. in a tail. And through the top. This is what they call a pamphlet stitch, a very, very struggled pamphlet stitch. Mm -hmm. 
to the top. Back through the center. Pain in the butt. Chase it down where the needle's not going through. Okay, gotta go through every single page. Good thing this ain't a thicker book. I do. I'd be mad. through it good thing oh my gosh one thing after the flip another went through the dang thing I'm not starting over uh -uh. you ain't gonna make me <laughs> now she you behave now she one last hole That's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Em, you got this. It. It's crooked. It's cock -eyed. That's cock -eyed. But that's okay. Nigga would go right once it's in there. Yeah. That would go right. Alright, now to glue it in there. Really? <laughs> I 
Fire trucks going down my road. Better not be any of those things. These guys are so cold. Already had enough. Heaven and left a bit to, to suit me fine. Pages are a little off, but I can always take a trimmer to it and then page it up. But you've got the first stages of your, your journal complete. Now we still need a little bit of work done to it. Need a couple of clamps. Time to pin that down. I'm going to go. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right when I'm needing it, it's like it, it gets flipping stuck. I'll have to take the cap off and clean the inner rim of it. I've had to do that before. I'll leave that zonking in there. But we are as far as I'm going to get today. Because it is nearing two hours, and I don't want to stay on here over two hours. So, here's what we have so far. For those of you who have just joined, we are doing the Hocus Pocus book. And I have made the eye. We have uh, done some of the cover. We have done the inside of the journal. We have done a hidden, uh, hidden, uh, a hidden signature whatever that whatever I called it uh what was it called a hidden scene a hidden a hidden sewn in signature but there you go there is the um there is the signature in how gorgeous that is there's even a page in here that looks like like there was a hole in it right there Right there, it looks very used and worn. Love it. Hidden spine, thank you. Thanks, Carrie. A hidden spine, yes, thank you. Uh, you have all this beautiful paper to play with. And there is your center here. It looks flawless out of all that work that I was doing. It's right there in the center. Beautiful. There's no strings whatsoever. Got all that in. And then the back. You can barely see the strings right there. It's just from where I'm pulling. But there you go. I still have to trim this up. Because that's the sides there. But there you go. First part of the journal done. So what do you guys think so far? Look how pretty that's going to be once you. Once it's finished. All that distressed pages. Light, come on, be nice to me. So that it is, so far. We will carry on, hopefully tomorrow. 
So be watching for me tomorrow. Maybe Marina will join me. Maybe. Don't know. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. Um, thanks, Shirley. Um, thank you for joining me today. Uh, hopefully, I inspired you to get out there and create some artwork. And if you uh, want to share your artwork, we also have a group called Creative Jewels by Emily on Facebook. Um, come check me out. Um, send, a, send us a friend request and we'll get you right in there. Yeah, Shirley, you're like, you'll have to watch the, ref the replay. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, hopefully I inspired you to get out there and create and share your artwork. If you'd like to share your artwork and join our happy jewels. Hi, Susan. If you'd like to join our happy jewels, please head over and, uh, to Creative Jewels by Emily on Facebook and send us a request and we'll get you right in there. Also, remember, guys, we uh, I am having a sale on this Friday. I know I'm stuttering like crazy. I'm having a sale this Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on this channel. So please uh, save your pennies, nickels, and dimes uh, and prep for this sale because I'm hoping that this journal here will be in our sale um it will be empty there's not going to be any pages written on or anything unless i feel froggy and decide to print up a few things and jot it in here but it will be empty for you to play in and along with some other things uh in the sale for you guys to see i've been working kind of hard on some things you will see some of the same old, same old things, but that's what people love because y'all come back each and every time, and I do appreciate you guys. Again, this is actually for the wedding. Um, also, it's also for my son because his birthday is on the 8th of, August, or 8th of October, and it's coming up fairly soon, and Mama don't have a lunch, so y'all will help support me uh, in buying my son something very nice for his birthday. So anyway, guys, I love you all. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> yeah, Susan, it's long time no see. I'm about to I'm about to go. So leave me a comment once the, the video is over, okay? Um I guess I'll see you guys on the next stream or video. I love you all. Please watch for your notifications. Again, please hit that subscribe button and that like button and leave a kind comment down below. Alrighty guys, I will see you later. God bless. Bye.